yet. Deb Jollett, I'm Dr. Leona Stockbasa from the university. How did you hear about me? The lady from your office didn't say. The newspaper article when David disappeared. That was seven years ago. Yeah, we're pretty backed up. She did mention payment. I wonder if I could bother you for a cup of tea. Mm -hmm. So it's just you? Yeah. So do you visit everyone with a missing child? No, not everybody. But you collect news stories about them? Well, my interns do. So what do you do? I write reports that justify the cost of field research. That's it. And I teach. Milk? Sugar? Two sugars, milky. Leave the tea bag in it, thanks. Are you religious at all? Why? Oh, for the record. Doesn't make a difference. It can. No. I'm not. What is this meant to prove? Proof? I'm afraid science isn't in the business of proving anything anymore. It's just measurement now. Hmm. That is a good cup of tea. I'm here, I'm here. When you're ready. I was four months pregnant when I got the first call. With your son? David. It was early. I was awake because I couldn't sleep. That's pretty common for four months. But were you getting any nosebleeds? Mm hmm. And gums. Were you showing? A little. But you couldn't tell that I was pregnant. So you answered the phone and then... I answered the phone and I heard the noise. Can you describe that? Industrial. Like a factory. Did you say anything? I said hello. And... And I heard the voice. What did it say? It didn't say anything. It sounded like it was struggling. Did you say anything else? I couldn't. Four months. An unborn baby begins to blink. Did you know that? When was the next call? A week later. Friday, it was early. It was identical. Same noise. Same strained voice. The next Friday, same thing. And then the Friday after that. So I had the phone changed to a silent number. I hadn't given the number out to a single person when the phone rang. I thought it was the phone company. When I answered the call, the voice was angry. Was that a Friday? We 
What happened after the call? The calls continued right up until David was born. It was a happy and healthy baby. Quiet. At two, I took him to the doctor and they told me that he had a speech defect. It wasn't until he was two and a half that he first spoke. And when he did, he sounded exactly like the voice on the phone. What happened to David? Deb? Deb, where's David now? 